This week, the house has been transformed into Big Brother Boot Camp. And with tensions running high in the ranks, there's one room where every soldier can have their seer. The Diary Room. Saturday, day 44. This week's task sees Michelle and Jason appointed as sergeants in charge of the rest of the housemates who are all privates. The housemates have also been provided with uniforms according to their rank. Big Brigadier is in overall command. Four twenty eight pm Sergeant Michelle has come to the diary room to ask Big Brigadier if she can modify her uniform to make it more feminine. Sergeant Michelle, yep. you may not customise your uniform. OK, cheers, Jake. That's all I was going to ask. In fact, Sergeant Michelle, yes. Big Brigadier is not satisfied with your appearance. Right. Part of your role as sergeant is to set an example. Right. Please be more careful in the way you what? choose the dress. What have I got to do? What's wrong? Just wear my jacket. Have I got to tuck this in or something? Big Brigadier feels you could look a lot smarter, Michelle. Well, yeah, I could look a lot smarter if the clothes fit me. Please try your best, Michelle. Right, OK. Take a seat, please. OK. Sergeant Michelle. Yes. Big Brigadier would ask you to watch your behaviour as you're appearing to be over-familiar with your privates. Right. You need to maintain a professional distance. OK. Thank you, Sergeant Michelle. Thank you. Sunday, day 45, 9.39am. It's the second day of the Big Brother boot camp. The sergeants have been notified by <laughs> Big Brigadier that if the group fail the weekly task, both sergeants will automatically be up for eviction. But if they pass, all six privates will face a public vote. I feel being, like I'm being so two-faced because I'm telling them that it's so important that they do well. And yet it is for us, for me and Jason it is, not for them. And the harder they work, the more chance they've got of getting a really, really bad news. That this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, this person's up for eviction. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm going to be hated for the rest of my life. How are you finding working with Sergeant Jason? It's just as I expected. I think I chose the right person for the, the position. Two things worry me. The first is that obviously I've explained how um, I don't... I'm very uncomfortable with um, encouraging the privates to do well and the second thing is that I'm uncomfortable is how comfortable he is with it even if he's not it seems to me that is like well you know what that's that's the game kind of thing what can we do I know I know this all this but it still makes me feel upset it still makes me feel like I, I want to cry <sighs> Ten fifty nine a.m. Privates Nadia, Ahmed and Victor are asleep in the bedroom. Sergeant Michelle is in the garden. The rest of the troop are in the living area. I, I just basically just find that Nadia quite irritating, but I don't dislike the girl, but she seems to think that I keep picking on her, singling her out, and that my bully. I don't bully anyone in here. Private Stewart is in the diary room, talking to Big Brigadier. Basically, I've, I've been involved in a mole hunt to... Um, I've been um, moving through various uh, various uh, troops to try and find um, the moles that could be, you know, potentially um, a threat to the senior officers, but particularly you, Big Brigadier. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this troop's clean, but it's just you can never be too sure. And if you were to um, come under any serious threat, it would be my It'd be my job on the line, sir, and um, you know, I've been part of Super Stew's elite special forces now for seven years. That, that doesn't include my time in the regular service, and I, um, 
I'm not ready to see you get get taken out, sir. Big Brigadier thanks you for this vital information. No problem, Big sir. Brigadier would ask that Private Stewart keeps up the good work. If there's if there's a mole here, I will find that mole. You're safe in my hands, sir. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you, Private Stewart. 12 or 6 p.m. Since the Big Brother boot camp began, not only do the privates work overnight shifts on sentry duty, but they must also perform regular daily tasks. This morning, all privates are involved in the boot cleaning task, except for Private Armoured, who comes Hi, to the diary Armand. room Hello, to talk Big to Big Brigadier. Brigadier. How are you now feeling? Um, I'm not well, and I'm not able to do the task. And I'm not cleaning the boots because I'm not well, and I'm, I'm not able tonight also to do my sentinel duty. If you are not feeling well, would it be acceptable to do your part of the task inside the house? Yeah, but... You mean in the sentinel duty? That's a major problem because I'm sick. Because I've been sitting there last night outside. And now I didn't eat anything. I don't have any energy to, to clean the boots. I can, I can try, but I don't have any energy. Privates can wear as many clothes underneath their uniform as they wish to. I did wear yesterday and my uniform t-shirt plus a black jumper, I still had it, plus a cardigan, plus a pyjama under and still I... I'm not well. I'm sick. Private Ahmed, Big Brigadier is happy for you to do this part of the task, the boot cleaning inside, if you are feeling unwell at the moment. As all tasks are compulsory, Big Brigadier would suggest that you talk to your sergeant about changing the schedule for sentry duty. It's 2.53 in the afternoon. Sergeant Michelle and Privates Armoured, Victor and Stuart are in the living area. Private Shell and Nadia are in the bedroom. Sergeant Gerson is alone in the snug. <clears throat> Hello, Brigadier. Hello, Private Daniel. Sergeant Sergeant Jason um, has asked uh, if near the end of the task, if he needs a full body massage, would it be possible for me to give him one in the sergeant's mess? Big Brigadier would ask you think very closely about whether massaging a sergeant is appropriate behaviour for a private. OK. <laughs> OK. It's... I think it is because, you know, we have to be willing and able to help whenever we're needed. And he mentioned something about um, a, big, a big muscle that he needs rubbing. Um, so... I'd be there for him if he needed that, big brother. It's my duty. Big brother is always concerned what sergeants do with their privates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Uh, right, OK, Ahmed. Never in my entire time in the house have I been annoyed really. But that man is bringing out the Basil 40 in me. So much so that if he was on my team he'd be fired immediately. Have you spoken to him about this? I have. He doesn't he doesn't he doesn't listen, he doesn't take anything. He, he just he's right and that's it, you know, you know what he's like. And he's he's just playing on it. I mean I, I'm sitting out there you know, with a bust vocal cord, whatever I've got, um, and not complaining. It's just, it's really, really annoying. He just wants an easy life. He's in here for 
for his night with the Vina, and, you know, that's it. He doesn't want to pull any weight to get... Daniel, shut up. Sorry, Brigadier. Can't go on, can't I? <laughs> Are other housemates feeling similar to yourself? Yes! What do you do? Sunday, day 45, 3.12pm. Sergeant Gerson's alone in a snug. Privates Nadia and Daniel, Sergeant Michelle and Private Shell are in the bedroom. I'm sorry, but if it, it wouldn't be a task if it was something we enjoyed doing and wanted to do and was easy to do. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be a task. What does he expect? Private Stuart and Ahmed are in the living area. Private Victor comes to the diary room. I'm here as Blackie Omar, war report, war correspondent, the man behind the front line, you know, in the barracks, the guy with the inside scoop. Holla, holla at your boy. Get me, brethren. At the end of the day, things are strained around there. It's not like I'm not Rambo, you know. This ain't no Schwarzenegger movie. We're just not pulling together. You know, Ahmed's got a cold or something, and because he's ill, he's not cooperating fully. We don't know what this, the penalty will be for not passing, but I'd, I'd like to think that a little cold wouldn't stop us from passing that. But I'll do what I've got to do to try and survive, and that means more hours on the front line. I'll be first one out, front line, rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling, styling and profiling. You know, that's what I do. Holler back at your boy. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't ever want to sound off. It's what the diary is for, isn't it? It's good to just, yeah. just like, you don't have, because that way you don't have to, you know, you don't have to say to me, I mean, you can just get it out. Permission to leave the diary room, big brigadier. Permission granted. He's in now. Oh my God, he's going to the diary room now anyway. Is he? Keep the door open, please. He must have been sitting there boiling, boiling, boiling up and then it just eventually went right. Hello, Big Brigadier. I would really appreciate if you could provide me with a wool jumper. I have now four layers of cloth, but it's not enough because they're all cotton. So I need a wool jumper. I told them that if the weather was not too cold, I will do at least one hour. Better than nothing. Big Brigadier will not be providing you with a woolen jumper, Private Ahmed, but oh. would suggest that you discuss this with your privates and perhaps arrange one of them to lend you warmer clothes. It's 9.33 p.m. Privates Ahmed and Victor are in the bedroom. The rest of the troop are in the living area. This is Big Brigadier. Can Private Nadia come to the diary room? I've just made you two snarls. Oh. I'll use this stuff and you have the new stuff when it comes oh. out. I don't know. This meeting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I couldn't lie. But... I know, but it's true. I know. Do I look bigger? Hello, big brigadier. Hello, Private Nadia. Hi. How are you feeling today? It's not fun, this task, big brother. I don't like it. <laughs> I re literally don't like it. I hate it. What do you hate? Everything. Uniform is minging. Waking up in the middle of the night is another burden. It's just a whole thing. It's just really sort of, it doesn't go with me. It's the opposite of glamorous. It's not, it's not nice. I mean, if I could at least wear heels, I'd be fine, but I can't. <laughs> oh, I'm so pathetic. I want to laugh. There's no laugh anymore. It's just work and it's just and even enjoyment work it's just really really hard stuff i mean i don't complain i'm not complaining really but it's just there is no laugh i need laugh <laughs> i need to laugh i need laughter 
I need I need trashy people around me. <laughs> I need Becky and Mark back. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything about army life you can laugh about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. literally just just have to look at myself in the mirror and I will laugh because <laughs> it's ridiculous. Maybe if I could chop a few things, maybe I could customize it to my own taste. Really short, convert into a skirt, um, big slash down in my t-shirt. <laughs> Something really silly, pathetic. Slightly, I suppose, if you want to call it. <laughs> Monday, day 46. Earlier today, Private Armoured refused to complete the Private's morning exercise regime. Come on, no, 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 it's now 12.59 in the afternoon. 19 minutes ago, Private Armoured attempted to stage a military coup by trying to commandeer Sergeant Michelle's uniform and become an officer. But if they say it's OK, Jason has offered his uniform for you to be a sergeant. No, I don't want Jason's uniform. But, so there you are, so yes, your pride's getting only, in the way. Yes, I want only Michelle's uniform. Oh, so it's your pride? Yeah. It's your pride now? Yeah. This isn't about the task now, yeah. it's about your pride? Yeah. Private Ahmed has got it into his head. He wants to take the uniform and basically be sergeant, maybe a private. I've explained till I'm blue in the face that had I been a private, I would have con I would have been happy to be a private. I'm a sergeant, therefore I'm a sergeant, and we've got to complete the task because obviously. Jason and I are privy to information and obviously we know that the roles can't be reversed and that to complete the task, we're, it's imperative that we stay in those roles. But I can't get that across to him. It's like when I say the words, when I say, look, you know, this, that, that, it's just going over the top of his head and he's in his own selfish bubble. Little, oh, I don't know what to do. He thinks that he can come and say, it's a military coup. It's not a real army, right? So he can't then take my jacket. He was going to bring the jacket in here and say, and put probably put the jacket on and say, now I'm a sergeant. Nobody, nobody, nobody agrees with Ahmed. Everybody agrees that Ahmed should take, should accept his role. I'm telling you how I feel. Yeah. And I've told you how I feel. And I told you how I and feel. And I think you're being ridiculous. Yeah, right. And a big baby. All right. Okay. Maybe. Remove, remove him. Remove him. What, what about if I get everybody to come in the side room and say we want Ahmed removed? Because I'm telling you what, they would. It's 2.15pm. Mmm, tasty. Sergeant Jason has come to the diary room to talk to Big oh. Brigadier. Good afternoon, Big Brigadier. Good afternoon, Sergeant Jason. Uh, j just, a, just a chat, just about obviously the events regarding um, Private Ahmed. I thought that basically he could have continued um, to do the run. I was disappointed in Private Ahmed, um, you know, because I felt that he could have continued, no, no problem. He's putting the rest of the the group's position in jeopardy with regards to passing the task, so I understand that he's not well and stuff, but I, th I feel that he could put in a little bit, you know, maybe a, a greater effort, really. So I'm sure he's well aware that um, he's got to pull his socks up a little bit, um, become a little bit hardened um, to this task. Um, it's not just the fact that he's got a cold, I feel it's just that he's not one for um, taking orders Maybe especially from a girl, um, you know, he doesn't like that control over him from a female. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. Um, and, the, you know, the military thing is, you know, I don't think he's too keen on the whole military concept thing, so... But I'm sure he'll get through it. But I think they're coping pretty well, you know. Um, they're a good, hardy bunch. And they're, they're you know, they're, they're hungry and they're lean and they're mean. And they're, you know, they're... They're ready for anything that's thrown in front of them, basically. They're a good trip. Are you proud of your privates? 
Yep, I would say they're doing extremely well. Um, very proud of the privates. Um, they're all they're, they're getting broken sleep, and you know, but they're still getting up and they're still smiling and, and getting on with it, you know. And but they're really determined to do it and to succeed, even when sometimes they may be like a man short and stuff. They're really pulling together. One of the privates has made me a nice um, big fry up, Private Goodhead. Um, so I shall go and enjoy that. Um, but um, permission to be dismissed, uh, Big Brigadier. You are dismissed, Sergeant Jason. Thank you. 3.15 p.m. It's getting the respect to the troops and all that, you know? Yeah. Big Brigadier would like to remind you that as a sergeant, you're expected to behave in a manner befitting your rank. Yes. Big Brigadier is aware that you have been walking around the garden holding your privates. <laughs> right, OK. I'll make a special effort for you since it's been requested. I won't walk around the garden holding my privates. Thank you, Sergeant Michelle. You are dismissed. Cheers. Thank you. Hello, Private Victor. Um, it's been a bit of a day on the front line. Ahmed has got Gulf War syndrome. He has lost his marbles. I mean, we're good friends and that, but. Sometimes it makes it hard to defend him. Like, I can see why he's doing what he's doing, but he just doesn't... He's just not quite getting the concept of what's going on. And it's making him look stubborn and childish to some people, because people don't understand him, you know? I've got a feeling we may have cocked this task up, task up already, so... You know, I think we're probably all up for nomination or something, because nominations haven't come. Nominations can take place at any time, Private Victor. The thing with you guys is, you guys told you do tell a few porkies, don't you? Like with Becky, you said that Becky won't be allowed to nominate for the first week, but she nominated Michelle. So my guess is we're not, we're not doing nominations. If we do do nominations, fair enough. But even if we do do them and we fail the task, us, six of us will be up. That's what, that's what I think is going on. But, you know, if it comes to that, it comes to that, man. You know, I'm a fighter. I'm the most fighting champ in this show's history. I'm the only guy that's come out and openly played the game. Everybody knows what I'm doing around here. And I'm still here. And if you put me up for eviction on Friday, I bet I'll still be here on Saturday. If not, then, you know, there's many valuable lessons to be learned from defeat. You know? But I'm still the dirtiest player in the game. I do play dirty. I do like to get in the mud. I do dirt like a worm. You get me? I do much more dirt than a worm. You get me? I do more dirt than a mole. You know? The Dark Prince is still perched in his throne. You could take that to the bank, man. This week, the sergeants have been successful in ensuring that all privates pass the Big Brother boot camp. This means that all six privates face a public vote this week. Give it there, mate. Hang on, it's oh. a bad thing. Though. OK, it's a problem. It looks like a bad thing. Who goes? You decide. To vote, call 090 1121 2144, followed by 01 for Ahmed, 02 for Daniel, or eight for Nadia, or nine for Shell, ten for Stuart, or twelve for Victor. Or text the name of the housemates you want to evict to eight double four double four.